In this video, we will discuss about another types of chromosomal mutation, which is alteration in chromosomal number. Chromosomal number alteration can occur either through aneuploidy or polyploidy. First, we will focus on aneuploidy. So, aneuploidy is a condition in which organisms having extra one or less one chromosomes compared to the diploid number of chromosomes. For example, in human, the diploid protein number of chromosome is 2n equals to 46. In an individual with aneuploidy condition, with extra one chromosome, this person will have a diploid chromosome number of 2n plus 1 equals to 47. On the other hand, if a person with aneuploidy condition involving less one chromosome, the diploid ploidy number of 2n minus 1 will be 45. So, what causes aneuploidy? The main cause for aneuploidy is an error which occur during meiosis of gametes formation. This error is known as non-disjunction. Non-disjunction refers to the failure of homologous chromosomes or sister chromatids to separate during anaphase of meiosis. Non-disjunction will result in gametes with abnormal number of chromosomes, which are gametes that have extra chromosome n plus 1 or less chromosome n minus 1. First, we will look into the process of non-disjunction if it occurs during meiosis 1. In this animation, we can see that both homologous chromosomes move into the same daughter cell, which means that one of the daughter cell will have both copies of chromosome. Next, the cell will continue to undergo mysis 2 and will eventually produce in total of 4 daughter cells. As we can see in the 4 daughter cells, half of them are having extra 1 chromosome number, while the other half are having less 1 chromosome number. If the N plus 1 gamete undergo fertilization with another normal gamete, the zygote produced will have extra 1 chromosome than the normal diploid ploidy number, which is 2n plus 1 equals to 47. In this case, the individual will have trisomy condition. In contrast, if the n minus 1 gamete fertilizes a normal gamete, it will produce 2n minus 1 zygote which will have 45 number of chromosome. This individual will have monosomy condition. Next, non-disjunction can also occur during meiosis 2. During meiosis 1, the homologous chromosome will separate and move into each daughter cell. As a result, the daughter cell will have haploid number of chromosome. However, during meiosis 2, as we can see in one of the daughter cell, the sister chromatids did not separate. Both sister chromatids move into the same daughter cell and produce a daughter cell with one extra chromosome than the haploid number, which is n plus 1 equals to 24 chromosomes. The other daughter cell will have n minus 1 number of chromosome, which is 22. If the n plus 1 gametes to fertilize a normal gamete, this will result in a zygote with 2n plus 1 equals to 47 number of chromosome. This is known as trisomy condition. Next, if the n minus 1 gamete fertilizes the normal gamete, this will result in a zygote with 2n minus 1 number of chromosome. In this example, the condition will be monosomy. In this example, only one of the daughter cell from meiosis 1 undergone non-disjunction. 
the other daughter cell undergoing normal meiosis 2 process and produce normal haploid number of chromosome. This means that if non-disjunction were to occur during meiosis 2, so there is a 50% chance that the gametes produced are normal gametes. But as we seen earlier, for non-disjunction involving meiosis 1, all of the gametes produced will be aneuploid gametes. In summary, non-disjunction during gamete formation only involve one chromosome. As a result, the gamete produced will either have extra one or less one number of chromosome. Fertilization of these gametes will produce either trisomy or monosomy condition. In human, the normal number of chromosome is 46, which is 23 pairs of chromosomes. From the 23 pairs of chromosomes, there are 22 pairs of autosome and 1 pair of sex chromosome. Non-disjunction can occur on either one of the 22 pairs of autosome or on the sex chromosome. There are two examples of aneuploidy in human involving autosomal chromosomes. The first one is monosomy 21. This individual only have one copy of its chromosome 21. Hence, the plotting number for monosomy 21 individual is 2n minus 1 equals to 45. The second example is trisomy 21 or also known as Down syndrome, this individual will have three copies of chromosome 21, which means that the ploidy number is 2n plus 1 equals to 47. For both of these examples, it was caused by non-disjunction which occurred involving chromosome 21. Aneuploidy can also occur involving sex chromosomes, for example, Klenfelter syndrome, which is a trisomy for the sex chromosome, or Turner syndrome, which have monosomy for the sex chromosome. Alteration in chromosome number can also involve the whole set of chromosome. This is known as euploidy. Euploidy will result in a condition known as polyploidy where organism will have more than two complete sets of chromosome. In this example, a plant with 2n equals to 6 number of chromosomes produce two gametes with error during meiosis. This means that the gametes will have 2n number of chromosome instead of n. So both of the gametes will have 2n equals to 6 number of chromosome. Fertilization of these gametes will produce a zygote with 4n number of chromosomes which is equal to 12. In summary, we can see that because of euploidy during gametes formation, a zygote with polyploidy condition will be produced.